Hi guys and welcome. Uh, let's see who's here. We have uh, Sci-Fi here. Welcome, Bengan, Perid. Uh, we have. Oh, we were talking a lot before the stream started. Uh, welcome, Juice Black. Um, Wombat to Jade Trucker. Hmm, who's that? Welcome to uh, Two Crew. Welcome, Mr. Tonadillo, PT. DMF Trucking, Chris Brown, Alan uh, welcome sir, uh, welcome Dino, uh, Soup, Darkness, Eagle, Ghost Rider, uh, I already said PT, uh, Robert Radak, welcome, Insano, uh, Trofim, welcome all of you, thank you so much for being there, well enjoy your spaghetti, um, Let's just dive right into it, shall we? I can't show the map quite yet because we need to hook up the trailer first. Um, and then I can show you the map. So let's just that just, just get that over with quickly. Mr. Thomas Olson, I'm so sorry. Welcome to you as well. Sorry for missing you there. And control room guy is here as well. There we go. So now we can talk. Here we have it. Uh, we started out on Monday up here, and so far <laughs> we still haven't made a lot of Ross. And I don't think we have nineteen thousand three hundred and four kilometers to go. I think we have a little bit more than that. There we go. 19,872 kilometers to go but my goal today is honest to god to get out of Ross and on to Great Step at least I'm the first person in a while who pronounced your name right it's not like it's that difficult in Sano uh, but um, thank you sir uh, Mark Cartier, welcome. And Vincenzo, welcome to you as well. Uh, why don't we just dive into it and see if we can make it out of Ross today. Hope everyone is having a great Thursday, Friday tomorrow, and God knows I need Friday. And of course I need to switch that on. There we go. I'm gonna have a problem getting out of here, not because of the traffic. Uh, but you just wait there, buddy. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop! Or not. How about you, Mr. Iveco? No. Uh, maybe you will, Mr. No. Mm. How about you, buddy? Are you gonna wait for me? No, you're not. Not you either, and none of you. Seriously, none of you? No? Alrighty. But you'll have to wait. There we go. And I think we're gonna have a problem now. Because, yeah, we hit that thing. Um, yeah, there's no way we're going to make that. I'm going to give it another shot, but let's see how... This might work. I hope. Yeah. Yeah, 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 maybe. Probably. I'm 
Where am I stuck now? Oh, I'm stuck in the tree. No. No way. Oh, come on. You're a Scania. Be responsible. Come on. Yes. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mike, welcome. <laughs> we kind of made it. Why is the truck so fat? <laughs> oh, be careful with the ducks. They are my lucky charms. Uh, we didn't have a single accident yesterday. And I'm not going to call that an accident either so um, we're still good um, we didn't have a, any accidents on Tuesday either except for the game crash but that doesn't count um, so um, yesterday was a success and I hope today will be as well even if you don't, don't like it I know that some of you at least want me to fail <laughs> want to see me crash um, yeah that's just how it is. I like to annoy those of you who actually like that by not crashing. If I like milk chocolate, everyone loves milky chocolate. Chocolate milk, that is. So, hi Bogdak, welcome. So it is, let's see, it is... Oh, that's right. I was supposed to sleep back there. Why didn't I do that yesterday? It is now 7.26 in the evening. Hmm. Which means that we will either have to hold through the night or we'll find somewhere to sleep within the next three hours or so which we probably won't and I yeah never mind that restart the save no nope. we do not have the time to do that we are on a mission we're gonna get out of Ross in less than three hours tiger farm <laughs> welcome and a caution welcome to you as well And I will try to make it out of uh, Ross without uh, speeding. Unknown creator, uh, welcome. I'm just gonna ignore your question simply because I do not speak uh, Russian, Greek. Uh, Tiger Farm, yes, it is the RJL. Uh, there's a link to uh, the truck, the truck sound mod. Uh, the um, my girlfriend here and the ducks that's Sizzle's uh, mod uh, there are links to my beautiful skin made by Alex1973 there's a link to his discord server and there's a link to the guy who created the um, trailer and 95 ton bridge I'm holding as well there's links to everything <laughs> uh, Ken Shaw, welcome. Peace deck. Uh, um, I assume that means hi, so peace deck. <laughs> and if that was. And if I defended you by saying that, I apologize. Lars, welcome. Uh, if I remember correctly, we will not find uh, anywhere to sleep close by, so we are probably going to start this off by hauling through the night. Apologies for that. Um, but I think we're okay. We are on Ross. We've been on Ross for three days now, so you probably already know what it looks like. Um, the Ducks mod in Seno is part of Sizzle's mod, and that one you should see. Uh, Bert Kielman, welcome.
So if I speed up and try to follow him, will he still give me tickets? Yes, of course he will, but why? <laughs> Bliat! <laughs> That's Russian, I think. <laughs> or it's Polish, I don't know. I'm horrible at these uh, things, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Andreas Hellman. Hey, hey. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna greet everyone in Swedish from now on. Makes everything a lot easier. Uh, Umri, welcome. Uh, I speak a little bit of Finnish, uh, Perid, so yeah, I know Kurva. <laughs> oh, that's the police? Briat? I like the word for it. It sounds uh, nice, actually. Briat. It's getting dark in here, and there's no way we can find a place to rest. So we're gonna hold through the nights. That's just how it is. Cheers, by the way. I'm mistaken. Uh, Perry, <laughs> it's Polish. I can't repeat what uh, Kurva is in uh, Finnish uh, because uh, then we would have to uh, rate this video uh, 13 instead. So Peggy 13. So. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so Bliat is not a... Okay, it's like Curva then, I think. Uh, Dokos, welcome. And Stefan Bogi, welcome to you as well. So nice seeing this many of you, despite this being the fourth part in this uh, week-long series. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here, Unknown Creator. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Andreas, thank you for <laughs> spelling that out in Swedish for me. <laughs> and also for using a very polite Swedish word for, for Briat. <laughs> Truxim is here, welcome TSM. And Kalia, good morning. You have your coffee yet? I watched your third part of your um, stream on um, Eastern Express today, Kalia. I'm very happy to see I'm not the only one who have to teleport from time to time. <laughs> mm. Nenya, welcome. Is it easy to migrate to Sweden and work? Uh, Nenya, it depends on where you're from. Uh, uh, if you're from EU, it's very easy. Otherwise, it can be difficult, I think. I mean, my experience of migrating to Sweden was just from Norway and between Norway and Sweden, you just move. You don't have to ask anyone to just move. Um, so, but I do know that it's quite difficult from, you know, from depending on what country you come from. Well, again, Andreas, it depends on where you come from. I, I mean, if you come from the UK, it's pretty easy if you want to work as a bartender. I mean, half the bartenders in Stockholm doesn't even speak Swedish, they only speak English. <laughs> Unknown creator, um, I don't think all the girls will be mine. I'm 48 now, I know my limitations, uh, but I'm fine. 
Um, as long as no one takes Kalia away from me, I'm fine. <laughs> uh, okay, this one time and this one time only. Jag är Mike och kommer från Amsterdam. <laughs> but I'm not gonna repeat that again, so uh, don't ask me to say anything, anything else in Swedish. I'm not gonna turn this into a Swedish stream. And there we got our first speeding offense of the day. Thank you very much, sir, for your ticket. I really appreciate it. And I can afford it because we're gonna make 1.5 million euros from this haul. Oh, by the way, I fiddled around with the uh, colors for the camera today. Do I still look like uh, Donald Trump's brother? Uh, Dokus, I'm, I'm very well aware of the fact that 136 is out both for ETS and ATS. I did a video of it for ATS, but I can't do that for ETS because I'm in the middle of a stream. So that'll just have to wait until Monday at least. I'm less orange. <laughs> Since when does it feel good to hear someone tell you that you look less orange? <laughs> the times we live in. Saifa, welcome. <laughs> Uh, is it true that Sweden is full of migrants? No, it's not. There are migrants in Sweden. Uh, and according to statistics, there's a lot of them. Uh, but no, I don't feel like there's a lot of immigrants in Sweden. Most of them are also from Finland, Denmark, whoa. Finland, Denmark, Norway, UK, and the rest of EU. I no longer look like Ronald Leeds. <laughs> he kind of reminds me a little bit of Donald Trump's brother. Actual welcome. Yeah, yesterday stream, uh, Axel, I had a orange glow. <laughs> hey. There's the gas station and it's only 11 p.m. Maybe we should stop for the night. Well, isn't it a good thing that share online is, is down? I didn't know that were, but... Uh Spontaneous reaction is not a good thing. close do I have to get to? Seriously? Nothing? Alright. Uh, let's cheat. Good morning. Moving on. No, wait. How much gas do I have? Plenty of gas. Okay. Okay. 
Wow, did he just do that? He did. Well, look what I do to your taxi then. There you go. How many kilometers uh, left, Mike? Uh, I did show you the map just 10 minutes ago, but we still have some uh, 19,619 kilometers to go. This is only day four, you know. <laughs> uh, yes, Dokus, it's actually the very same bridge. It's not just another one. Uh, they had... They were done with it in uh, for Kuta, so um, now I'm bringing it to China instead. Uh, Andreas, if I've tried the uh, Tobii, I no, I have not. Um, but I've heard several people having quite a few problems with them with Tobii on uh, ETS 135. Uh, it's probably a lot better on 136. Uh, true, that bang and that could have worked, but I've been able to sleep in other places with the trailer. Uh, same gas station uh, elsewhere with that trailer, so... Uh, I didn't bother. <laughs> Guys, you get used to it. This truck has 730 horsepower, but the trailer weighs around 20 tons and have 10 axles. And then, of course, you have the bridge, which weighs 95 tons. And the truck itself has another five axles and weighs at least 10 tons. So, um, yeah, we're not going to move very quickly through the map. <laughs> You're great at mathematics, Cypher. <laughs> Thank you, Bengen. Uh, quick notice on the link you put up there. That link is in the video description uh, nowadays. Um, but uh, everyone should really take a look at it because if you do not have head tracking, you can find all the information ever needed on head tracking using Bengen's link there, including how to create it for basically no money at all. G Kiran, welcome. And thank you, you like my laugh. <laughs> Mask of Madness, welcome to you as well. There we go. So, uh, thank you, Mask of Madness. 12 tons, not only 10 tons. Uh, what's the best typing keyboard? Uh, that would be IBM's uh, old keyboards. And Stevios is here as well. Welcome, Stevios. Uh, I'm using uh, TrackCat. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Uh, TrackCat Clip costs half of what uh, Track IR costs. But hopefully, hopefully, I'll be able to compare the two quite soon. Richard Sheard, welcome to you as well. I've seen so many here tonight. And you'll have to excuse my voice. I can hear it's it's already. Uh, I'm already losing it. Um, this problem with the voice. It's been going on for three weeks now. I have no idea how long it's going to continue like this. Yay! If you like the stream so far, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs up anyway. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe and speaking of subscriptions um, I'm having a convoy on November 30th so on truckers MP November the 30th I'm gonna have a convoy and if you want to be part of that convoy there's a link to it uh, in the video description you need to click that link and you need to click the participate button because we are gonna have that convoy on a private server so the only way you will be able to connect to that server 
is by clicking the participate button so that we can send you information on how to connect to the private server when the convoy starts on November the 30th. Uh, 2K crew, uh, if you do not mind, please send me some samples of uh, what it would look like and I'll have a look. I'm definitely interested. Uh, I do not know how many people we have uh, today uh, who say they will participate in the convoy. I think it's it was 80 85 something yesterday hopefully we are on around 90 today um, but i already know that there are others who will be there who for different reasons can't click participate just yet uh, but we will definitely be way above 100 people on that convoy and with a little bit of luck we're gonna haul from Stockholm we're gonna hold from Stockholm anyway but on pro mods to the Kirkenes quarry in northern Norway so it's a um, approximately three hour Conway Co Conway <laughs> convoy uh, and I think it's gonna be pretty epic so I hope you will be there if you can Bring it on, Cypher. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to do it on ProMods servers. Again, with a little bit of luck, because the timing isn't perfect. We have to wait for uh, 2.42 to actually work on the current version of the game. And by the 30th of November, we will probably have version 136 on the uh, uh, Truckers MP servers, which means that ProMods 2.43 will have to be released and implemented on the TMP servers as well. Um, and we're only six weeks away from that convoy, so there's a lot of things that need to. Uh, to be prepared for us to actually do it uh, on um, on uh, pro mods, but hopefully, and if it won't, if we can't do it on pro mods, we do have a backup plan. Uh, but I really, really hope we will be able to do it on on pro mods. Uh, do four trailers across a long journey? I could uh, do that. Whoa. No, 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 no. What the hell? Oh, God, I saved it. Missed the gear there. Um, thank you, Tiger Blanco. I really appreciate that. Uh, People who said maybe kind of counts and uh, with them yeah we have about 120 I think uh, but they don't really count uh, I th it's probably depending on how many maybes we have I don't know really uh, thank you Carl yeah <laughs> and I'm sorry to disappoint some of you I know some of you want me to fail so but Oh, come on. I need to stop talking for a little bit and get up this tiny, tiny hill. There we go. John H is here. Welcome, John. Uh, Jasmine, if I may. She's doing just fine. Except, of course, being quiet. She didn't even come out of the truck yesterday evening after the stream. She's just sitting there. 
She's been sitting there all night. Get the best in life. Uh, why am I missing gears tonight? I'm pressing the wrong buttons here. Uh, take a Volvo. Right. No Volvo sound as good as this does. Yeah, but you also tried using this Zill period, so uh, let us know how that went. <laughs> the ducks are doing just fine, thank you. Ducky 1, Ducky 2 and Ducky 3. Sitting there, uh, having a nice ride out of Ross. They're really looking forward to uh, getting out of here. And so am I. It's kind of difficult... Um, Figuring out how long a 26,799 kilometer haul will take when you have to uh, take into account the fact that Ross is on a completely different scale than all the other mods. So uh, it's taking a lot longer covering the first, I don't know, seven, eight thousand kilometers of the, this haul due to that fact. Um, Let's see now how this works. What the... You moron! I'm just gonna ignore the chat for a little bit. I really don't want to get stuck here. There we go. <laughs> How long have you? Uh, what? What? Where? Where are you right now, Perid? How far have you gotten? Yeah, you know, Cypher, I'm not much for these quick journeys. I like the uh, longer journeys. So, um, quite often when I'm doing shorter distances, like 2,000, 3,000 kilometers, I tend to use older, weak trucks instead, just because it makes things a lot more interesting. Yeah, sure, Mike. It's about time I show you the map because we've been here for half an hour now. So uh, let's have a look at it. We have 19,452 kilometers to go. And my hope today is that we will reach this area here. Hopefully all the way down to Airshov. Uh, this is the great step. Uh, but we have a long way to go before we are there. But... I really, really, really want to make it all the way down here tonight so that we can tomorrow just do this part here and then spend Saturday and Sunday going up all the way to Vulumuki. And there is that Chinese traffic again. Why are you even here?
Robago, welcome. And is it good morning? I guess it's good morning, isn't it? <laughs> two, two K crew, yeah, that music. <laughs> But they are worse than that. They have some cars with some really bonkers Chinese pop music that I really don't like. But we won't see much of that before we reach China. Uh, Java Monsoon, welcome to you as well. And yeah, 136 uh, is a great update. Um, Especially, I think, for, for ETS2, because we now have uh, detours, which is a feature I really, really enjoyed on uh, ATS. Uh, but of course, DirectX and OpenGL only. Uh, lots of people are complaining about that, but I actually think it's a good thing. Uh, but, yeah, depends on what mods you have. Regarding maps, you shouldn't worry at all. Basically, all maps now are compatible with DirectX 11. Uh, thanks for reminding me, Zypha. I actually checked the gas. Uh, whoa. And we still have half the fuel left, so we're still good on, on gas. Yeah, Carl, yeah, I totally agree with you. Detours is great. A lot of people hate them for some reason, but I just I just love it. Makes the game so much more exciting. Wow, you hit 100 plus frames. That's awesome. Mel, welcome. We are still on Ross. Still have a long way to go before we reach um, the great step. Or... Yeah, by a long way, I mean, we will hopefully reach uh, Great Step today. Uh, Ross and Southern Region might very well not work on 136, but they do work on DirectX 11. Piotr GT, welcome. And God bless. <laughs> Thank God it's Friday tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to the weekend. Yeah, we are allowed to do 90 again, which is great. And I'm trying to get there. I'm flooring it. Um, but yeah. Uh, if I have any uh, images of my truck in, in uh, good quality, uh, I do to crew, K Crew. And um, did you write to me on Gmail uh, to K Crew? Uh, if you did, I'll uh, try to respond back to you tonight with some images. <laughs> yeah, I know, Kalia. People, <laughs> I can't really figure out why people are uh, upset about it. I mean, first of all, if you do not want to use detours at all, just disable it. There is a button to disable the function completely. And I do prefer to have detours set to the uh, minimum value because I do not want a lot of detours. Uh, because that isn't realistic, but I do want them occasionally. And we should all have that setting just set to occasionally because it happens in real life as well. Uh, Siam Shots, I'm gonna blame your mods <laughs> uh, for the game crashes. I do not think that a ETS or ATS for that matter crashes. I can't remember ever having a crash on the base map. 
uh, and the DLCs. I've had crashes. I had crashes two days ago, uh, but that was with mods. I did it again. Bloody incredible. Uh, recommend me a good price for all the DLCs. Um, buy them over Christmas. Oh, that's cool, 2K. That's cool. Uh, I'll get back to you on these coordinates then. That's fine. I think it's better to be the bus driver, to be honest, Cypher. But uh, if you want to be in management and just uh, flip papers that's your choice <coughs> excuse me uh, Quattro is here welcome Quattro <laughs> I remember this time <laughs> Len <laughs> welcome Yeah, we're all excited about the new DLC. Yeah, not only that one, but also the one for ATS, Mello. Uh, I wish they could bring out more DLCs four times every year instead of just uh, twice. And there's another one. God damn it. Uh, no, Cypher, I'm not going to do that. The truck I'm using then is the uh, RJL uh, Scania truck. There's a link to it in the video description. Uh, no, I totally agree with you, um, uh, 2K crew. Uh, I too prefer ETS too. Uh, I Honestly, to God, I, I bought ATS just because I want more <laughs> maps to haul on. <laughs> I, I swear to God, that's the only reason I bought ATS. <laughs> um, Mike, I have a track hat clip. Uh, there is a link to Bengian's excellent guide to tracking devices in the video description. And you'll find links to both track hat uh, and to, of course, track IR. Uh, and um, I'm very satisfied with the one I have, and it costs only half of what track IR costs. Thank you, Rob. I appreciate that. I'm trying. <laughs> when we didn't have any accidents yesterday, and there is the link again that I was talking about. <laughs> I just wish they could merge both the games into one game and, the, and then you could buy DLCs for Europe or America or both if you like. How hard could it possibly be to merge the two of them? Yeah, Mello, it could happen this weekend already. Um, and if it does, I guess I'm going to be pretty much alone here Saturday and Sunday hauling into Volumuki in China. Um, I can't wait to, uh, to um, see uh, pro mods on Truckers MP. Uh, the mods I use in game, Rob, uh, you'll find them in the video description. The only thing you won't find in the video description is how to set this combo up. And I will do a video on that. Uh, but I need to sort one problem first. 
or two actually. Um, with the setup I have right now, uh, there are some uh, overwritten roads on um, on Ross, and I also have a problem with uh, long loading times. Uh, I just gotta fix that first. It won't affect this haul in, hopefully, anyway. Uh, but of course, I can't release a combo that's not really working 100%, or at least isn't working 100% of what I know about it. So uh, I need to fix that first. What maps Black Sea DLC adds? It adds the Black Sea DLC. Uh, what countries it adds? Uh, mainly Romania, uh, a little bit of Turkey, and a couple of other uh, countries close to Romania, but it's it's mainly Romania and uh, the European parts of Turkey. Yeah, but Rob, all the links are in the video description, including the list of uh, the mods. Uh, sorry, the map mods. All the map mods are listed in the video description as well. And the links for them are found in my uh, in uh, my other videos, both the stream that I did to uh, or through uh, China, and of course the uh, global edition. They are all there, and Bulgaria is added. In this video, all the other links are found. AG, welcome. And those Chinese buses again. Twenty likes only? You don't appreciate my stream, guys? Give me a thumbs up if you like this stream. <laughs> <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'm losing subscribers this week. Everyone is losing subscribers this week. Uh, if you haven't heard about it already, YouTube is um, removing a lot of uh, abandoned accounts and spam accounts, things like that, uh, this week. So um, I've only lost 18 so far, but... Uh, I feel sorry for, I don't know, PewDiePie, who's probably gonna lose a million accounts <laughs> or a million subscribers. <laughs> Tougher, welcome. Well, thank you for being a Rob. Uh, Kalia, the dislike was there before the stream started. I had that dislike this morning. Um, for reasons I'm not going to go into, I think I know who that is. <laughs> so, um, yeah. There's a dislike. Who cares? <laughs> I certainly hope I won't lose. <laughs> Uh, that many su uh, subscribers, uh, and I don't think I will. Uh, it's, it's probably guys who have been around a lot longer than me that will lose uh, subscribers. So um, I'm not worried about dipping down below 10,000 again. Go, oh, you moron! That was a close call. PewDiePie uh, is spelled P-E-W and then die as in killed or dead 
and pie as in the pie you eat. <laughs> let's just leave it at that. Let's not talk about PewDiePie. Um, let's just uh, enjoy the fact that he's going to lose probably a million subs. <laughs> I'm a horrible person, I know. I guess we could get out of Ross tonight, but yeah, this truck is pretty slow. <laughs> yeah, the weather is just fine, thank you very much. We have um, zero visibility outside, uh, no sun, and probably some rain as well. Welcome to Stockholm. Sounds a little bit like it's sci-fi if that is what you really want to do, to be honest. Seriously, I did that again. I have no idea why I'm missing so many gears tonight. Get a powerful engine mod, uh, get the best in life. Yeah, I could do that, but I'm no fan of adding a 2,000 horsepower engine, even if it would benefit me for this uh, haul, because in real life, there aren't really any 2,000 horsepower engines. If I support any football teams, Mike M, uh, welcome BR Mac. Uh, not really. I do not watch football. I, sp I literally spend all my time, especially this week, uh, sleeping, working, doing my day job, uh, streaming, and eating lunches. That's all. I do not have time for dinner. I do not have time for anything but the stream, work, and sleep. So, um, nah, I'm not interested in football, thank God. <laughs> A Peterbilt 389 with like uh, 30 headlamps on it, um, yeah. I swear you could haul from Fukuoka to Calais and then um, back east again into China and Volumuki without ever seeing a Peterbilt in real life. Um, if I want to hold in a Peterbilt, I'm going to do it in ATS. <laughs> Chicken lambs. <laughs> Is that what you're using? A 540 Kalia for, for the bunkers all you're doing on? Eastern Express, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, I guess it does tougher. Uh, <laughs> I don't have time for trouble. But you know, sometimes trouble, uh, being busy gets you into trouble as well, so... Uh, I think you have to balance it. Oh, and look at that thing in front of us. I wish we were in a bus again, because then I would just ram him and get him out of the way. Uh, but we're not in a bus. Oh, that's a tight fit. Jesus Christ. Please, no hidden walls. And 
you just stay in that lane, please? Just stay there. <laughs> Horrible. Maybe we should stop for some fuel. Let's have a look at the map again, see if we should stop here or just continue for a little bit more because it's five in the evening. And yeah, we could definitely go there, possibly even get down there before we stop for the night. Um, that one's not good. That one is. I think we can make it down here before it gets dark. Let's just continue. We still have almost half a tank of fuel. How many travel days BR? Um, good question. It is someone with a calculator. It is 1572 hours in game. Divided by 24. Uh, is that a month? Is that 30 days? 60 days? I don't know. No, it's, it's not 60 days. It's... What is it? <laughs> Someone tell me! 1572 hours. Divided by... 24 uh, Yes, that is my uh, um, Track cat clip. It's not a Dellan clip. It's a track cat clip, but yeah 64 days 65 days, okay, so it wasn't that much off then Oh, great. Behind the tractor and one of those Chinese things again. Come on, truck. We can do this. Come on, come on, come on. I am flooring it. <laughs> and we made it. <laughs> Cap noodles was delicious. It's just noodles, Quattro. <laughs> Why is all these people? Why are what? Why? Huh? Okay. Uh, dog, I would definitely stay away from 2.42 if you don't have to use it. There's been uh, a few reports about problems with 2.42 and other map mods. Is that a K700 in front of me? Uh, the thing we passed, I guess. Um, I did look at it. I was looking at uh, incoming traffic. Welcome, Yigit. Uh, but please all be aware that there might be other maps that do not work with uh, Promos 242. Hopefully they work, but I'm not going to guarantee it. Uh, BR Mac, I will do the entire whole live, yes. Uh, so the streaming uh, schedule for this haul is in the video description. We're going to haul tomorrow from... Um, tomorrow is Friday, by the way. So we're going to haul from 6 p.m. Central European time till 10 and possibly a little bit longer as well, uh, depends on, on where we are. And on Saturday we're going to start at 1pm Central European time and do half of 
what is left, at least half of what is left. And then on Sunday we're gonna do whatever's whatever's left. I think you're gonna agree with me, Bogdak, that the, the setting it up does take time, and, and it's not depending on what devices you are using, but uh, more because of the software it takes a lot of time to uh, to adjust to how you want it to 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 work. Yeah, 2.41 is still available. Uh, I think all the older versions are available still. Uh, on Pro Mods. The only reason to update to 2.42 right now for Pro Mods is if you're going to use it on multiplayer. I really don't see any other reason why you should update right now. So there you go, because I spent, I think I spent at least a month getting it to work just as I wanted it to work. And uh, you know, from time to time I still go in there and make tiny adjustments. So uh, yeah, open track uh, the software. It takes time to, to get it to, to work just like you want it to. I guess I'll be repeating this the entire week and I do apologize for those of you who are, have been following me here today and all the other days for me going through this one more time but I will arrange a convoy on November the 30th and if you want to take part in that convoy you need to sign up for it by clicking the link to the convoy in the video description and then press the participate button. That's all you have to do right now. But you need to click the link and then participate because we will be doing the convoy on the 30th of November on a private server. And the only way you will be able to access that server is by clicking participate so that we can send you information on how to connect to that server uh, as we get closer to the 30th of November. Yeah, I couldn't dream of living without my uh, uh, my tracking device because having to look around using the mouse and one arm, uh, it doesn't work at all. You are frequently using the shifting gears when you go around corners and you want to see what's happening. So you want to look over to that side and you don't want to use one of your hands for that because you need to have one on the steering wheel and one on the gear shifter so no I'm never gonna stop using these devices uh, I use it on a regular 16.9 screen and it works just fine no problems at all
Why the music? I do not get it. <laughs> are you talking about me banging or are you talking about Bogdak? You have a vibe as well, Carl, yeah. You're full of surprises. Ha! <laughs> Why am I not surprised, Bengan? <laughs> yeah, you did have to talk me into it because it is really difficult to understand why it is so important to have a tracking device when you are completely used to... I've, I've, I've been using my hands and just looking around using the mouse for so many years. So I, I couldn't imagine it would do such a huge difference. You can't use it, can't you? Why is that? Thomas, the um, the um, battery life on this thing is five to six hours, I would say. Um, according to the uh, developer, it's uh, ten hours, uh, and that is probably bullshit. Um, I guess it could. Bring it up to 10 hours if you're using a 15 fps and things like that possibly don't move your head around much uh, but i have a hard time seeing how you can get 10 hours out of it so five to six hours uh, which is uh, interesting when you're doing a uh, nine hour stream Uh, check out Bengan's link there because uh, uh, you'll find all the information you could possibly dream of from that link. <laughs> Parade, yeah, we left uh, Ross and we are now on Ross map. Using the wired version isn't a bad idea at all because it is, of course, I could have a cable connected to this one um, as well. And um, yeah, I could also do fewer hours on a stream than nine hours like we did last weekend. <laughs> Yes, that is something about doing only 40 kilometers an hour here. Yeah, because this road isn't great. Or the road we are about to get onto, I guess. So. I'm going to do the tobacco thing again. I'm from Sweden, and here is Sweden. For those of you who haven't seen this before, um, there it is, horrible road. Uh, here in Sweden, everyone, and I mean really everyone, 100% of us, including children, we use something called snuff. 
which is tobacco in a bag. You just put it under your lip and um, act like nothing happened. And I'm totally addicted to it. And I've been so for many, many years. So get used to it on my streams. I don't know how the track hat hat is compared to the uh, track hat clip that I'm using. Uh, could be differences there. Are they saying on their web page that you get 10 hours out of the hat as well, uh, Thomas? <laughs> well spotted, Bang, and I moved the camera a little bit to get better lighting. <laughs> And none of you have noticed that yet, but the uh, camera was also in the mirrored mode, which it isn't anymore. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it has been moved a little bit. Nicely spotted, Vegan. And how do you know that, Stevos? Have you used both of them? Have you compared them? Because I can't really say that I'm missing anything uh, with the track hat clip. You have? Well, hopefully I'll be able to do that as well at some point, but I, I gotta say I'm not missing anything other than more longer battery life but uh, other than that I well let's see what happens hopefully I get a track uh, tracker uh, track IR and I'll be able to compare them too and maybe I'll find something that I didn't know that I was missing in what way is it better than than, uh, than the track hat clip Stevos is typing as fast as he can, I think. <laughs> Ghost Rider? <laughs> I am using a V8 730 horsepower engine already. Uh, welcome, Venchanted. Give me a second there. Okay, I get a lot of light reflect. But I have all the light reflected that I need on this one. I can use this one in daylight, doesn't matter. Uh, or as now with uh, four spotlights in my direction. Uh, and with the daylight I normally have, uh, at least in the summer, that goes directly into the camera instead. Works just fine anyway. The problem, Ghost Rider, is that um, the bridge weighs 95 tons. The trailer weighs about 20 tons, plus the fact that it has 10 axles uh, makes it even heavier. Uh, let's have a look at the map, shall we? Because Venchanted asked for it. Here it is, we are on Ross. And we've been doing this for about an hour now, and we made it this far, so that's one hour, two hours. Uh, could be a bit of a stretch getting all the way down to um, to Great Step. And in any case, we have another 18,761 kilometers to go. 
Welcome, Roger Philip Robble. Yes, I'm from Sweden. Yeah. Get a Peter built. <laughs> Another thing about your Peter built Bengan is that I think it has two thousand horses, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't think you're from Sweden, Roger. <laughs> yeah, it's. Oh, I should. That's why I wanted to look at the map as well because I wanted to see where that gas station was. There it is. Uh, we're there, almost. And then we have some more horrible roads. Chris Maddox, you ba I barely started. You know what, we've done more than 7,000 kilometers so far. Uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> I think I made it quite a bit. I mean, we've been doing this for 10 hours IRL now. Uh, on the background I use down in Spain. Uh, I do not have pro mods on the profile I'm using for this haul. Uh, so I haven't noticed, nope. Oh, you're only on 750 horsepower. I thought you bragged about having 2,000 horses on that uh, Peterbilt thing. I must have um, read that wrong. Urisa, aloha. Welcome from uh, Hawaii. But you're right, Chris, we do have 19,000 kilometers to go. But we still have plenty of time to make it to Wulumuki uh, before Sunday night. We need to make it to Volumuki by Sunday because on Monday morning my daughter comes home and I won't be able to stream for a week. Well, you can do that on uh, on this. I think, Steve, that you might have been using uh, TrackCat uh, Clips own software. Uh, I'm not using that. I'm using the open source software instead, so I can also do it. Well, I can't do 360, but I can do uh, 180. Uh, yeah, you can't see it because it's dark, but I can do that too. MRT is here, welcome. How are you doing tonight, MRT? Are you good? Uh, Victor, welcome. I'm using one monitor only. <coughs> so what I see is what you see. It's a 169 even. Even though I have an ultra wide, I'm not using that for, for streaming. Oh, your twins are sleeping, that's good. <laughs> ah, you do flight sims as well. Well, I don't do that, at least not yet. But I bet Perrid or someone is gonna talk me into doing flight sims too at some point. And my default answer to that is, no, I'm not going to do flight sims. I will only crash and die if I do. Uh, 
There's the gas station and it is midnight, but we are gonna stop here and we definitely need to get some fuel. And uh, we're also gonna get some sleep while, when we're here. Go. Ah. Yes, Perid, I am going to do train sims. You already knew that. I promised you I would do it, so yeah. Uh, MRT, I'm going to show you the map in a little bit. Just let me park this thing. Defton S, welcome. Let's see if it works this time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me that sleep signal. Come on. Seriously? All right. I'm going to do this. Bang and wanted me to do last time then. Happy bang on. There you go, uh, and I'm going to show you the map because I promised MRT that I would do that. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, we're not going to go up again. Uh, we are going to continue down here and then over here. It's just because I'm parked in the wrong direction. Uh, so we are in, yeah, just outside of Kirov. There's our destination for tonight. Uh, which I hope we will make. Let's see what happens. Uh, hang on guys, I'm feeling that I'm missing out a lot on what is going on in the chat. Um, I do apologize for that. Just have to get this thing running and we're gonna drift a little bit come on truck you can do this yes there we go and we are on our way again See if the GPS can make up it my, its mind and put us in the right direction again. There we go. Uh, you've never seen a, a Kushan, you've never seen a train sim gameplay yet? Well, um, even if you do, you've never seen a truck sim gameplay the way I'm gonna play it before either, so. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Try, <laughs> Chris. If I want to do something crazy in a game, in a um, flight sim, I'm just gonna try to land any aircraft. Um, I did play Microsoft's Flight Simulator many, many years ago, and I never made it through any landings. So um, I have no hopes of being being able to to do that this time either. <laughs> so you keep saying Perid. Let's see. Come 
one thing I have to find out is uh, what happens with, when you crash into another train. And I'm not going to follow any instructions. Uh, I'm not going to go through any tutorials. I'm just going to do it live and make a complete fool out of myself, of course. But I do that every night anyway, so why not? Crashes aren't not good. Okay. Um, sorry to hear that. I was hoping for some spectacular crashes. Well, <laughs> what's new, Bogdak? <laughs> of course it's going to be a disaster. <laughs> Spectacular can be nice as well. We know that from the bus simulator we did. Um, the Flixbox bus thing, when we got tired of it, doing it properly and just went on doing bonkers thing. That was quite funny. Not very realistic, but uh, absolutely funny. That's <laughs> flight seems are for birds. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> On flight seems if the people inside <laughs> Well, let's start by doing a train sim. And I need to do bus simulator 16 as well. Uh, there was a guy who were very kind and gifted me a steam key for bus simulator 16 so I'm definitely gonna do that I have to do that uh, and of course we're gonna compare the, that to the other bus simulators that are out there so we're gonna do OMSI as well at some point just to see what that is all about <laughs> you get I can't even do it with zero engine failures but if we have one, I trust that Sotka is going to help us figure that out. It's kind of what he does. Is it by the same developer? I don't know. Oh, I'm going to speed it up a little bit here. <laughs> shopping trolley simulator that is already out there <laughs> seriously we can't do the uh, shopping trolley um, simulator thing you're gonna hate me after five minutes farting man welcome And I'm glad you liked me speeding up there, Bog uh, Bengan. I hope you enjoyed it while it lasted. Mm. God damn it, Goat Simulator. Yeah, I need to download that game and try it out. The guys behind that game is apparently making a ton of money out of it. 
for just a project they did for fun. Hang on. What is that? I haven't seen that sign before. Oh, beautiful trucks. Oh, look at that Ural trucks. Ural trucks, they are so beautiful. God, I love those trucks. Anyway. No, I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna behave. <laughs> I just had a tiny one, Kalia. <laughs> Thank you, Perid. Uh, Yasas. Hi, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I love Russian trucks, of course, and uh, old Soviet Union era military trucks. Mmm. I can't remember how many Ural trucks they've made so far, but none of them have ever broken down. They are all still working. 100% of them. Or so they say. Yeah, Ural trucks are very much Russian trucks. Speaking of... Uh, Chris, I have not tried a Ford pickup and I know what you're talking about there. Isn't those Dodge Rams, by the way? But never mind, I, I, I think I know what you're talking about. No, I haven't and I won't do it. If I want to do a pickup truck, I'm going to play something else. It's got to be a real truck. Oh, the closest I'll be to a... Um, Ford pickup truck is a Ford F Max truck. I hope it wasn't because of me, MRT. Is it coming this month, Jigit? Uh, I definitely hope it is. <laughs> Sorry about that, MRT. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, Jigit. I have uh, asked them for a beta version. Hopefully, I'll get one. I'm really looking forward to it. I've seen the pictures. It looks amazing. Chris Maddox, to be honest, uh, IRL, I want a Dodge Ram with that 5.7 liter Hemi uh, engine. I definitely want one. And I'm proud to say that my 17 year old daughter, she wants one too. I've never driven one. She has. She's currently in the States doing the um, second year in high school. And um, the host family where she lives, they have one. So she tried it, tried uh, driving it, and she loved it. Himi, sorry, Himi, my bad. Here in Sweden, we just say, hear me. <laughs> oh, 
a military dildo. I don't know what that thing is. Is that supposed to look like a missile? It's... It doesn't look like a missile at all. <laughs> Welcome back, Parrot. Just one question. A road like this... What's the purpose? I mean, why isn't the road just straight? There's no obstacles in the way except for the three trees, but I assume there were trees where the motorway is now. Uh, before the motorway got here, so why didn't they just cut straight through instead? I think making roads like this one here is just stupid. I'm not gonna say Americans are weird. Uh, I like America. Um, especially up until 2016. Uh, but I like America. And um, I'm very happy for my daughter uh, being there right now. Uh, doing a full year in high school. I wish I could have done that when I was a kid. If there had been natural obstacles like uh, water or, or, or um, um, mountains or things like that, it would make sense having the road go like that. But when it's only trees that are in the way, I really don't understand why they do things like that. Welcome to Canada. This definitely looks a lot like Canada, doesn't it? It reminds this this part here reminds me a lot about Canada Dream. And we're allowed to do 90 kilometers an hour. Perfect. And I am flooring it. <laughs> Trust me. This isn't Canada, Chris. I just said it looks like Canada. Uh, <laughs> we're still on Ross. And we're hauling to uh, China, to Volumuki. There are no pipes on Canada Dream, are there? I think you're th confusing that with um, Dalton um, Highway. <laughs> it was a quick mod, Chris. <laughs> uh, the mods that add China Jigit is the uh, rock. ROC Republic of China mod you find it on uh, Facebook so if you search for on Facebook search for ETS2 and r.o.c you'll you'll find it make sure you use um, Google Chrome because you want to translate everything that is said on that Facebook page because the guys behind the map are from Taiwan, so uh, yeah, they don't speak English. Are you confusing ROC with PRC? 
uh, and there that comment was gone. <laughs> I think you did jig it. <laughs> uh, it's PRC, and PRC uh, doesn't exist anymore. It was an add-on for ROC, uh, but it hasn't been updated in a gazillion years, and um, yeah, I think it just disappeared, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm. Um, maybe you, Chris, also like. <laughs> Good luck walking the dog, John, and uh, we'll be here in another in for another hour and twenty minutes at least. So hopefully we'll see you again later. Uh, Chris, maybe you will agree me, with me, and you and I will probably be the only ones who then finds the. Um, Dalton Highway mod to be a fantastic mod. I really love that map. Uh, most people don't. Good morning, Lee Song Si. From Taiwan. Speaking of. <laughs> We were just discussing uh, ROC, Republic of China, Li. And the Taiwanese guys behind the map. Unfortunately, Chris, uh, the um, Dalton Highway hasn't been updated for 135 yet. So I'm still waiting for it to be updated uh, and it probably won't be updated for 135 because 136 is probably less than a month away so but hopefully uh, it will be updated for 136 the Peru map uh, you get, uh been there done that I love the uh, special halls, uh, special transports on, on the Peru map. It's a great map. Very twisty roads, which I like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess you haven't used the, uh, tried the um, uh, Dalton Highway uh, then, Chris. You missed out on some very realistic. Um, it's a one-to-one -one scale map uh, of all of the Dalton Highway and most of uh, Elliot Highway as well. So it's literally going to take you days to haul from from the southern parts Elliot Highway to. Um, to the northern parts of Dalton. And there we got another speeding ticket because they changed the speed limit again. some more vodka <coughs> excuse me sorry about that <laughs> no it isn't vodka it's water <laughs> Guys, I do not drink alcohol at all, so don't don't you worry about it. I'm not gonna 
And even if I did drink alcohol, I wouldn't do it during a stream anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's sparkling vodka. <laughs> Nope. No, 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 no. I was just kidding. It is not vodka. <laughs> Let's not create a false rumor here about me being drunk on my streams. <laughs> you want to hear the sparkling? I'm not sure you can... I'm not sure the microphone is catching that. <laughs> then it's champagne. <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> uh, no loss, I'm not drinking. Sometimes I wish I did, but I don't. Uh, hell yeah, Chris. Absolutely, I would do that. Um, I have done streams going from um, northern Canada all the way down to southern Mexico. And I would do that all over again if I could start up in Yukon. Do you know something I don't, Chris? Is there something... Uh, is there something coming? Oh, Jesus! Wow. Oh, that was a close call. So, car accident, car burned out, three police cars, no ambulances, no uh, nothing, just three police cars. Hmm, that's, that's Russia for you. It's gotta be hard, Simu. I mean, coming from Finland, not drinking. <laughs> well, uh, good for you. Here's to us then. Yeah, I didn't expect that one. <laughs> it was a close call. Uh, those cones weren't easy to see, but we got lucky for once. So we're still good. No crashes so far. At least no, no crashes that counts. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Mike. Let's have a look at the map again, see where we are. Uh, making progress. Uh, you know what? We have one hour and ten. We, we might actually make it down to... The great step. I would love for that to happen. Please happen. Please let us get down there. 17,641 kilometers to go. Uh, which isn't accurate. There it is. 18,200 kilometers to go. Hmm, I knew it. But that's not bad. We've done 8,607... Uh, 8,500 kilometers so far. <laughs> it's not confirmed, Andreas. <laughs> the only thing I can confirm is that the rumor is false. <laughs> I take great pride in not drinking at all. Yeah, 
people from Finland is kind of famous for drinking um, um, a lot. <laughs> Chris, uh, thank you so much for being here and I hope we'll catch you again. If not tonight, then again tomorrow. I'll be starting my stream tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central European time. So uh, I hope to see you here tomorrow. Seriously? No, not yet. There we go. God, I hate that music. Isn't Russia the country where they drink the most? I mean, 25% of Russia is in uh, Europe. Anyway, thank you for being here, guys. And if you're enjoying the stream and haven't done so already, please click the uh, thumbs up button. Um, and if you don't like the stream, please click the but thumbs up button anyway. put my money on on Russia but okay I'm, I'm gonna trust you on it I'm oh beer consumption oh that totally makes sense um, I was uh, thinking alcohol Sixty nine likes with only fifty eight people watching right now is pretty good. So thank you guys. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm uh, very happy to say that I do not smoke anymore. Uh, but I do use snuff, of course. Um, wouldn't have been able to stop smoking if it hadn't been for the snuff. <laughs> <A coach. laughs> don't take it personally. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> and the dislike was there before the stream started. <laughs> yes. uh, the dislike was there early this morning already, so um, yeah. Uh, if I will do, be doing a global map combo for 136, uh, Shariel, welcome by the way. Uh, I've done global map combos since version 130 at least, so um, I guess I will. <laughs> Not even snuff team, that is respect, brother. Good for you. I bet you work out as well, I don't, but I bet you do. Andreas, I totally missed the uh, ads on the car. Or unless you were referring to the um, to the boxed car, the, uh, the um, Chinese car. Oh, look at that. Bangan's gonna like this. Look, Bangan, I'm doing a, oh, almost 100 kilometers an hour and then we have to slow down heavily. 
because there is an accident up ahead, possibly. Please no traffic, please no traffic, please no traffic. Please, 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 please no traffic. No traffic! Thank you. Oh, progress. <laughs> Bang on for... Oh, that's gross. <laughs> Please help me. <laughs> Christ. Why am I doing this? I need a shower. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I need a very, very, very long shower after this. I feel dirty. <laughs> anyway. Um. So, uh, maybe we should have a look at the map, what do you say? <laughs> Might we try to find somewhere to park for the night, because it's 7 p.m. in the evening, and I really need to think about something else. Uh, we have one there, let's let's uh, not do that one, let's do that one instead. Um, yeah, but I know you were kidding, Bengal, but s s and it's s still... We should quit early tonight. <laughs> mm. Mm. So, uh, how's the weather in New Zealand? Uh, Victor, it's one of life's mysteries. Um, China in-game is located to the west. Uh, it's located where you otherwise would find South America. It's just how it is. Um, the Republic of China map has been around since version 1.12. I don't know. It's been around for a very, very long time. Um, and they just decided that there was a lot of space there, so they added it there. And it's been there ever since. And I wish they would move it to its correct location. Because it is on the 1 to 19 scale, so um, it would fit beautifully in its um, correct location, but yeah. Unfortunately, but it's good for us because we wouldn't be able to do a 26,799 kilometer haul if it was located where it's supposed to be. <laughs> In what way do you mean, Andreas? Are you referring to the fact that most of my, uh, no, not most, some of my uh, viewers take the short bus to school, or... Uh... Please no traffic, please no traffic. Please no traffic, please no traffic. Thank you. God, I'm really lucky with traffic today. I'm not gonna crash, I'm a professional. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Speeding ticket. Thank you. 1100 euro. Ha! I laugh in your face. I'm earning 1.5 million for this haul, so I don't care about 1100 euros. I'm glad to hear the weather is good in New Zealand. Scania's are also very, very good at um, highway ramps, you know, Kalia. Um, I'm just saying. <laughs> 2K crew. <laughs> what a shocker. <laughs> the weather in England isn't good. Uh, Shamani, welcome. <laughs> Well, I had to say it, Kalia. <laughs> I know, Victor. I've seen some YouTube videos. <laughs> There's the gas station. Perfect. It's 9 o'clock in the evening. And uh, we're going to refuel, get some sleep, and be on our way again. Oh, it's one of those gas stations. That's okay. Even though the parking may might be a little tricky. Let's get the fuel first. Yeah, I know, Kali, I saw that. <laughs> Anything, Andreas, to get away from the fact... I mean, you know what we were talking about. I just wanted to um, get that out of the way. And I'm going to move the trailer. Relax, buddy. So I'm going to remove the trailer and then see if I can figure out where to park. I wish I did jig it, but I do not. Uh, let's see. Am I supposed to park in there? There. There. So, let's get some sleep. Good night, everyone. And good morning. There we go. Should we look at the map before we go? We always do that, so why not? Um, and we have an hour. We should definitely be able to almost make that. Let's hope we can hit some great highways. Stretch it out a little bit. Uh, 
if I have any anti-aliasing tutorials for DX11, I do not and uh, dig it, except for upgrade to 136. Um, if anyone would have a tutorial on that, it would be Bengen, I guess. And as far as I know, he uh, he doesn't. But please tell me I'm wrong, Bengen. Oh, you weren't watching live? And <laughs> God, that has got to be confusing. <clears throat> yeah, it's still a beta version. Uh, it's con probably going to be a beta version for another four weeks. Or so. So, uh, final version will hopefully be out mid November. And I hope to God that it's, if it's not out by mid November, I hope it won't make it until the 1st of uh, December. For very egoistic reasons. Per Sjernström, welcome, nerds. Yeah, Andreas DX9 is gone in 136, but I wouldn't worry much about it. At least all the maps will work on uh, DirectX 11. Most truck mods work on DirectX 11. Most. I mean, the only thing I've had a ton of problems with was uh, bus mods for some reason. Oh, win XP gamers. <laughs> Yeah, uh, they will be sorely missed. A ton of people, Joka. Uh, welcome, by the way. A ton of people still use XP. I kind of still miss XP to be honest. Probably the best version of the uh, Microsoft OS they ever made. Uh, Yulon Gaming, how many kilometers left? I think it's uh, 17,327. And that is probably uh, 17,018. Make that 18,000 uh, because I just reconnected the trailer again oops close one and um, I need to adjust the route a little bit so we probably probably need to add another 500 kilometers to to the 7.3 you saw there so it's just a quick trip over to Volumuki shouldn't take more than a few days Hopefully not more than three days. <laughs> I think XP was pretty light on uh, hardware. Uh, Win 7 was okay, but I do remember when I was still using Windows 7 how I missed XP. I wish there was a mess. Windows 8 and 8.1 was a mess. I will not change it. It is a fact. Everyone who disagrees are wrong.
Jonathan Jackson, welcome. How uh, how long I'll continue to stream tonight? Uh, for about an hour. Uh, we're gonna stream to just after 10 p.m. here in Sweden. Yeah, I completely hated the uh, ID Microsoft had there that they was going to get rid of the start button. That didn't work. So they kind of got it back into 8.1. Still not the same beautiful start button we used to have on Windows XP. But, yeah. I was hoping for some highways. Um, hmm. Instead, of this, we're doing 40 now. But it looks nice here, at least. coming to the end of uh, phasing out OS versions um, once everyone is on Windows 10 we won't have another Windows 11 or Windows 12 it's just gonna be Windows 10 being updated every six months so um, yeah, it's coming to an end Naughty girl. <laughs> so basically, color you're on every porn site there is out there and just download. Yeah, I'm gonna add that application as well. It's probably you know, it's probably good. Use all the plugins you can find there. You dislocated your knee, Jonathan? Well, get well soon, buddy. Uh, hope you're okay. How the hell did you dislocate your knee? You're still here, Cypher? I thought you had left, to be honest. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, if you say so, Cypher, I'm not used to that. <laughs> Please no traffic, please no traffic, please no traffic. Oh, come on. Do you play football in school, Jonathan?
<laughs> no, 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 look at this. No, no way. No fucking... Seriously. Seriously? <laughs> he didn't. You a-hole. <laughs> you mother... Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Or myself. And there we have some traffic. Uh, God, what an a-hole. <laughs> oh, this is... Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> he was probably going in this direction, but he decided to take a detour. Wise guy. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is Fast and Furious Old Guy Edition. <laughs> Jesus, that was surreal. It's pitching for new tires. <laughs> oh God. I've honest to God, I've never seen something anything like that before. Uh Perid, do you mind making a note of that of the time there? Um uh, that has to go into the um the um compilation video I'm gonna do. <laughs> Uh, hard economy mode, uh, ritual candle. Uh, I don't care about economy at all, to be honest. Uh, for example, uh, I created a profile I'm using right now uh, just for this haul. And once this haul is done, I'm gonna I'm gonna rip the uh, profile. I don't have any more use for it after this haul. So I'm constantly using. XP and money cheats. Uh, I have like 50 profiles and uh, with different maps on them and I never have time to focus on one profile and try to do everything properly. So now I, I, I haven't even thought about doing hard economy to be honest. Cypher, this is live. Uh, yeah. <gasps> yes, Andreas, I'm using cheats. <laughs> Do 100% on the global map. Yeah, no. The computer says no. I'm not gonna tr even try. Uh, where we are? Who asked that? Uh, we are definitely on Ross still. Um, come on. And I am losing hope that we will make it out of Ross today, actually. Uh, progress haven't been good lately. And hills like that is completely ruining the progress we're making. Welcome back, Mike. Ah. Uh oh, hang on. Yeah, things like this isn't helping. We are going to make it up. 
we talked about things like this the other day, so I'm not going to even ask if you think I should um, get up here or if we should just teleport. So I'm just going to continue. We'll get there soon enough. Country road. Take me anywhere, literally. Come on. There we go, I think. Yes. There we have it. No problem at all. Ah. So I had a similar situation two days ago and asked what you guys thought I should do and overwhelmingly you told me not to teleport. So um, I'm not gonna ask again. I know what you want. <laughs> Thomas <laughs> Maybe if I painted my truck yellow <laughs> I would get to Volumuki faster Now that's possible uh, Bang and that you tell me never to teleport I guess for the most for the most part, we've been in situations where I have to teleport because I'm completely stuck. Uh, but as I said yesterday, I was surprised by uh, the fact that 95% of you wanted me to uh, not teleport because I thought you would feel that it was just take, wasting a lot of time sitting there trying to get up the hill. Uh, so I was generally, uh, uh, I was I was really surprised uh, by you telling me not to teleport. Pleasantly surprised, absolutely. But I didn't think you would uh, say that. So um, I'm rethinking a lot of things because of that. I am going as fast as I possibly can, Zypha. I am flooring it constantly. And now we're combining the game. So you have a train simulator to the right. And trucks to the left. What more can you possibly ask for? We're doing almost 60 now. I can't believe I've actually gotten like 10 speeding tickets so far since we started on Monday. I mean, I can barely get this thing up to 70. train well maybe not call you but um, I mean the, the entire behavior of the truck when I'm crawling like that doesn't make sense at all I mean it feels like I'm just sitting there and all of a sudden it takes a big leap forward and then it stops again it doesn't make sense at all <laughs> Perry the train nerd thank you VL80 now we know I've always wondered what kind of train it was 
Thank you for educating me on the trains. <laughs> Ritual candle? Uh, our buffer page size in the config there should absolutely be such a setting uh, bang on your opinion on that uh, there are buffer page size 10 I want him to change it to 20 or possibly 30 because of some problems with um, <laughs> disco lights in game My thought exactly, Perry. That was the first thing I thought when I saw that VL lady going past. It can't. That can't be right. It was absolutely what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. But what Ritual Campbell says is that they can't find that setting in his config CFG isn't it there by default or is it just a default setting 10 and you'll have to um, add it I thought it was there oh yeah thank you Kalia uh, Richard Carroll maybe you are looking in the uh, config file in the profile You'll have to go and find the config file in the uh, same folder where you have the uh, uh, game.log file. Uh, Jonathan, the cargo weighs 95 tons, so the bridge is 95 tons, and then you have another 20 tons at least for the trailer. And the fact that it has 10 axles uh, makes it feel very, very heavy as well. And then the truck is 12 tons. Yeah, Gnavis, I just realized that was uh, the um, config file he was looking in. Uh, thank you for pointing that out, Carl, yeah. I once tried setting the uh, buffer to, I think it was a thousand in the beginning when we had 135 and DirectX 11 and all the flickering and no one knew what the hell was going on. I set it to a thousand. Um, didn't help, of course. But Mike is drunk, <laughs> I think. <laughs> what are you on about, Mike? The P45. <laughs> Let me be clear on this. I wouldn't do it, uh, even if it was available. I do trucks only, not cars. But I did like the P45. Jonathan, how, how is that possible? Oh, he's high on weed. <laughs> Good for you, Mike. Nishni <laughs> or something. It's the second... Uh, Novgorod is the second to last city, if I remember it correctly. Um, before we find out Ross. Uh, no one's gonna see it because I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I don't do car mods. The sportiest car I ever ever owned IRL was a Honda S2000. And that is a mod that is available in game. So I actually downloaded it just because I wanted to try it out. 
And it was horrible. It looked alright, but driving a car in this game is just... Nah. <laughs> what a weedy day. Hmm. Uh, graphic setups for, for DirectX 11, Thomas. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but uh, no, probably not, because there's not that much you can do on DirectX 11, at least not yet. Uh, you can't do anything with the NPI, so um, yeah, just max everything out in game, and um, there you have it, more or less. <laughs> You're back to normal, Mike. <laughs> Yeah, I set it to uh, to 25 or 30. Its default is 10. Uh, set it to 25, 30. Set it to 30. You have nothing to lose. Uh, and see if that works. If it doesn't, push it up to 40. You hear a bell, Mike? That's just in your head. There were no bells uh, in game. <laughs> oh, there it is again, the very, very masculine military grade thing. <laughs> no, Mike, that was just in your head. <laughs> Gnabist! Uh, yeah, I put it on... I, tr I tried different settings for the S2000, but... Um, you know, as soon as I got above 150 kilometers an hour, it just spun out whenever I touched the wheel. So I gave up. <laughs> Let me know how it goes, uh, Virtual Candle. I really want to know uh, how, how it works for you, if it solves the problem. <laughs> Mike, I was just joking. It wasn't in your head. And we can do another 70 again. And we might get to 70 at some point. Flowers, Kalia, look, look. Here's your new favorite mods, Kalia. Look at that, all those flowers. Isn't that pretty? What I do not understand, Bengan, is that only some people need to change that setting to 20 or 30. Why isn't everyone having that problem? And the reason I'm saying everyone doesn't have a problem is simply because I rarely see that question asked on either YouTube or, or, or Discord. True that, Bengan. Uh, I guess it could, but still. Could it really? Uh, it's a fair point you're making, but... Why would that have something to do with it? Never mind, I don't think I want to try to wrap my hand around it. It's just going to give me a headache. 
for the uh, voice GPS cipher. I've seen it. Sotka is finally here. Welcome, Sotka. Still at the hotel. Mm. And John is here. Um, and we got another speeding ticket. Oh, look at that. How? 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 He came speeding. No, he didn't speed because it's a dump. How? How the hell did that happen? <laughs> yeah, I know it's a request of resources for the for the game, but and why is that helicopter landing in the? In the river, literally in the river. Oh. <laughs> it happened because of vodka. Fair enough, Zotka. Helicopter fishing. Sharks, possibly, Kalia. Yeah. And Sassy, a sheriff, welcome. <laughs> Very funny, actual. <laughs> I did not. I left her, yeah, but um, I wouldn't leave a dumpster, they're very valuable. And Pavlo is here as well. Welcome, Pavlo. You made it tonight too. Yeah, possibly bang on. But I, I'm still puzzled by... I mean, I've, I've seen five questions about, uh, about that. The buffer setting. Um, with, I don't know how many thousand people who have... Uh, at least tried to get the map combo to work. Yeah, 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 another speeding ticket. I do not care. And he's passing me. He's going even faster than himself. No, you get a fine. You get a fine. And he's gonna give me another one. In five, four, three, two, one, any second now, or or not. Okay. Thank you then. Yeah, the smoke trade is a little overkill, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, I guess it's different resources being on, but yeah. Still. It's like, I, I also refuse to get my head around the fact that uh, NPI doesn't work on DirectX 11. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna floor it. I'm gonna floor it. I'm flooring it. We are doing a hundred and ten kilom... twelve even. And, oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Huh. And we're back to 70 again. Uh, yeah, you're probably right, Mike. We should definitely take a look at the map again. Uh, let's do that. Let's see where we are. No, we're not making good enough progress. 
uh, we won't make it out of Ross tonight. This is the fourth night. We've almost done 12 hours on Ross. <laughs> we still haven't gotten on to Great Step. Uh, we will make it to um, Arsama 16. Um, possibly even down here with a ton of luck. Uh, but we will not make it to air show. Uh, at Zasse, where is your Scandinavia DLC? Or did you just for forget to, to mention it? Because uh, if you have afforded the other four, buy that one as well and get pro mods on top of things and i'm pretty sure you're gonna love that even more uh, bang and i'm pretty sure you have explained it to me a ton of times already but i, I just i still just refuse to understand it i just want it to work on DirectX 11. <laughs> and then one of my combos yeah Add that one as well, add Sassy, and um, your map will then be three times larger than it is right now. And I'm gonna floor it again. Uh, whoa! That is insane! F7, mainly, um, mainly tires. There is a little bit of traf uh, of um, damage to the um, to the trailer and cargo. Uh, can't remember where we got that. Oh, I can. We got it on the uh, ice roads. Because I was speeding on the ice roads, I was doing, I was doing like 10 kilometers an hour instead of three. Elt39 is here. Welcome, Elt. Uh, when you say it like that, I wonder if you've been here for a while and I just missed uh, missed that. Sorry if I did. Yeah, I hear you, Bengan. <laughs> and my answer to that is, but still. <laughs> I mean, registry settings changing something I don't know the NPI settings is set per uh, per game anyway I hear ya and still <laughs> I think we should go about to go back to the very very beginning of the chat for this stream and Bengan's promise. <laughs> Do you get this thing about uh, DirectX 11 and NPI, baby? She nodded this, didn't she? I think she nodded. She's probably a lot smarter than I am then. Pavlo, no, I didn't crash, but on the icy roads in northern uh, Russia, you have to go like literally two, three kilometers an hour. Uh, otherwise, you will have damage, uh, which is what happened to me. So, um, yeah. It's very easy to get damage on those um, on those roads. <laughs> uh, 
Doesn't matter what you have there, Mike. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be DirectX 11 anyway. I hear you, Bengal. But still. <laughs> I accept that it is like this, um, but I will also say that there are some settings that you can set using the NPI on DirectX 11. I'm just saying. <laughs> Thank you for helping out, Perid. <laughs> Get the best in life. Which uh, flickering are you talking about? Um, are you talking about the text fix three? Oh, are you on OpenGL? Um, the text fix. Well, if you're on OpenGL, I'm sorry to say that you're probably gonna have to live with it. Unless Bengen puts out a ton of exclamation marks telling me that I'm wrong, you don't have to live with it. But I don't think he will, unfortunately. There are some problems with, um, with OpenGL and uh, Southern Region and one more map which I can't remember right now. Uh, other solutions? Sure. DirectX 11. No, seriously, I have no other solutions for it. Yes, of course, that is... Yeah, of obviously it has to go on top of the mods, or top of the map mods. Kim Limpang, welcome! Where are the AI cars? We just uh, had one coming on in from the side. Uh, but other than that, the, there's a truck coming, I think. Or is that part? That is part. There is traffic, yeah, uh, King. But I'm using the default settings, which is that traffic is set to one. I'm not using any traffic mods. So the lack of cars right here is due to Ross. Sorry. We have river landing helicopters. Oh, those things. Yeah, they exist. How the hell did we start talking about river landing helicopters now all, all of a sudden? Uh, yeah, they do exist. Sotcam, I I recognize that for a fact. <coughs> and for some strange reason, it feels like my um, trackhead clip is running out of battery again. I don't think he does, Pavlo. He had the problem with flickering before that came out, so... Um. Oh! Do I have it? Sorry, Pavlo. Uh, no, I do not. And I won't update until uh, Monday earliest. I want to complete this haul first uh, before I do. Not that I'm using uh, two point. Not that I'm using pro mods on this profile, but uh, I don't have time to do anything but but um, 
work, stream and sleep this week. Flickering lights, well, there we go. Possibly change the buffer size. Pavla, I say your name wrong, I'm so sorry about that. Um, how am I supposed to say it? No, Bangan is ab Bangan. <laughs> Bangan is absolutely right there. It has to be tarmac uh, the environment. Tudor Troska, we are let's have a look. Down here. Down there. Uh on Ross. So we've done God, we've done. 10,000 kilometers so far, and let's fix this one while we're at it. So we haven't done 10,000, we've done 9,500 kilometers so far. And we are gonna stop here tonight, because there is no point in continuing, because if we do, it's gonna take us another hour to stop here instead. Uh, so this is where we're going to stop tonight. Yeah, some roads are flaking. That, that is what I knew about uh, get the best in life. Um, well, so you can do DirectX 11, get the best in life. Why do you want to use OpenGL instead? Good man, Sotka. I like that. It does sound fantastic, this truck. Tudor, I'm flooring it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Thomas. It's not going to take a year. We will get there on Sunday. The reason it's going so slow is because of the scale of Ross. So yeah, we are doing 10,000 kilometers on Ross, but in reality, it's more like almost 15,000. Uh, it's on, no, it's not 15, uh, make that uh, 12 and a half thousand at least. Welcome back, MRT kids sleeping again, or twins. Elt39, welcome, finally. We've been waiting for you for four days now. It's nice to finally have you here. <laughs> yeah, there is absolutely no reason to use OpenGL if DirectX is an option for you. Pered, you're ruining it. <laughs> yeah, I'm only using DirectX 11 on ATS these days. And I've done DirectX 11 f on uh, a couple of really long hauls from uh, south eastern Florida up to north western Canada and north eastern Canada to uh, southern Mexico as well so um, no crashes no problems I've done it with using different trucks trailers cargo no problems ever There we go. As promised, this is it for the day. I know we're stopping here a little earlier than we normally do, but um, I 
I think is it's the wisest thing to do otherwise we would have to stop in the middle of on the highway or ah, and there we have that problem again um, this time we're gonna have a look at the map before we disconnect the trailer 17,229 kilometers to go that is correct um, so tomorrow Tomorrow we're going to do that last tiny little part there, which probably, which definitely won't take more than an hour complete. It's probably going to take less than that, 45 minutes perhaps. And then we're going to spend another at least three hours through Ross map. And we shouldn't really have any problems getting out of Ross map onto the main maps. And with a little bit of luck and with a, with your help we will make it to Calais as well if you want to continue for a bit because it would be nice to have two days to complete the rest of the haul through China because there are some um, up there there for instance there are some very very difficult roads especially with this trailer in China it's quite a few places with the uh, roads like this um so yeah i think we're gonna need two days for china um but yeah tomorrow we're gonna continue uh we're gonna start at 6 p.m central european time so one hour earlier than we have done the today and wednesday tuesday and monday and uh, with that said i think we call it quits for the day <laughs> and just as we're about to finish for the day doomer days shows up welcome doomer it's been a long time since I saw you. Welcome. Uh, and goodbye. Um, thank you so much for being here, everyone. And I hope to see you again tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central European time. One hour earlier than today. And we're going to finally get out of Russia. Um, just a little. A little. Oh, a little late. Yeah, <laughs> just a little. <laughs> um thank you guys it's been um it's been a blast thank you so much take care everyone good night